ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Overall S301 reporting news from IFL stations. My name is Kik Huang. Today, I would like to bring a hot topic about the famous story of Romeo and Juliet, which written by William Shakespeare in the 16th century. It is a kind of love and romantic story, and it has been remarked it again by a group of Cambodian students at IFL in the 21st century. On the most important scene, it was seen seven. It became trending again recently, so let us see what has happened in the scene, which attracted a lot of attention. The story began when Juliet's father forced her to get married to Bryn Paris in the next two days. The poor Juliet is painful because her parents do not know that she has already become Romeo's wife. In order to stay with Romeo, the only way to escape this arranged marriage, Juliet decides to take the punishment from Fred Lawrence to fake her death to overcome her love pain with Romeo. Aside from that, Romeo also believed that Juliet was dead. He rose to look for his wife while planning to suicide by taking their punctions and die beside his wife. Without further delay, let's start our first session. In order to find out more information about the story, we have invited two main characters of the story joining us in the call today. So we have Mr. Samnang acting as Romeo, the male lead, and Mrs. Fake Rotonet as a, acting as uh, Juliet, the female lead in the story. Hello and welcome Fake and Samnang to our interview today. Would you like to introduce yourself um, to our audience right there, please? Hello everyone, my name is Sok Sipi and I play as Julia. Hello everyone, I am Sam Nang, who play as Romeo. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Thanks for having me today. I'm doing fine. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm doing really good. Thank you. So today we have prepared three questions which has been asking a lot from your fans about the story. The first question is, we would like to know about how you feel acting as the main character and would you take the same decision as the female lead? For this question, to be honest, I am absolutely excited and delighted at the same time while getting a chance to play as Julia because this story was very famous back then and until now. Moreover, it was given me a lot of experience being as Julia, like I had understood the feeling which I had never had before. In addition, if you ask me, would I make the same decision as Julia? It's kind of hard for me because I will not say her decision was right or wrong, but based on my own perspective, that will be out of my option, even fact that. Thank you. For me, I was super excited seeing it as the greatest movie of all time and I got a chance to play the main character that is really famous to the world out there and it is really, really astonished and I think I would do the same as Romeo because that was the nature of him and it was influenced by everything around him like people, like society and family. The next question, based on the story, we can see that Juliet's partner was arranged by her parents that were crowned Paris. And as we all know that parents of all the world are love their children and would um, bring the best thing for own, their own children as uh, Juliet's parents has met. So we would like to know about um, your perspective. If you were a father or a mother, um, do you think that arranged marriage by you as a parent, it is good or bad for your children. For this question, being as parent is already the hard thing, and choosing the best partner for our children will be the hardest thing ever. I think, as parent, we will always choose the best thing for our children. But respecting their decision is what parents need to consider, because sometimes we give what they don't need. Therefore, it will become useless. As long as they are happy with the thing they choose, it's already enough as parents. Overall, I will not say 
It is good or bad because it depends on the situations and people involved. In contrast, if we are looking at Romeo and Juliet's case, I will say they are wrong unintentionally. As we all know, Julia's parents didn't ask their daughters. They just decided on a thing themselves and said parents will do everything for their daughter's happiness. But they didn't know what their daughter needed. For Julia's success, she cannot say anything because the society, society at that time was very strict for daughter and she didn't dare, she didn't dare to disagree with their parents. Thank you. It could be both. <laughs> if you pick the right guy, that will never hurt your daughter. That must be great. But if it's wrong, it must be our fault as parents. Moreover, it is better to ask her first about her feeling or does she have someone already? This might be a good choice. Then that's my opinion. The last questions. In this scene, we have seen that Romeo and Juliet was really deep in love with each other and seemed to be willing to sacrifice their life in order to stay beside one another. So, uh, because of their love, um, many people have been saying that um, love is blind. So, based on your opinion, do you agree or disagree on the phrases love is blind? For me, for this question, I am completely agree with this idea saying love is blind because I believe that people are willing to do everything and don't even care if what they are doing consider as right or wrong. When it's come to love, people seem hard to choose between heart and brain because love will overlook their brain in deciding things. Moreover, it is also biased in everything they do to their lover because love is overloaded and confused with the reality. Thank you. Um, okay, for the last question, I also do agree with that. It's maybe the harder part of life when you fall in love with someone. I mean that you truly love someone with everything you have and give them all they want no matter what. Even though it cannot blind your eye till you sacrifice your life like them, I do believe you will choose to live a miserable life for a long period holding that love. Like what I've seen on the internet that said, you never stop loving once you love someone honestly. Truly, you will never be able to unlove them. Our special guest, Big and Sam Nam, for joining us today and explain very detailed on expressions. Please stay safe and healthy. Thank you so much, Huang, for having me today in this interview. Please stay safe together, everyone, and I hope I can meet you guys really soon in the near future. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me today on this amazing interview. Once again, welcome to our second session. Today, we have invited the expert for our discussion sessions. So before we move to our topic, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Hello, everybody. My name is Pitu, and thank you for having me today. I am absolutely like your channel. Thank you, Professor. We would like to hear from you about three questions today. So the first question is, what do you think about this case based on psychoanalytic criticism when Juliet decides to take advice from Ferrarang to fact that? We can see that her decision making refers to her ego or desire, which means she has already considered the outcome of Ferrarang's plans. She thought the plan was a reasonable and effective solution to help her reunite with Romeo. However, the result of the plan came out opposite with Juliet and Frere Lorraine's expectations. Have you thought about the drawback or negative effect of the decision that the female league has made? Of course, yes. In my opinion, I've for the drawback, or we can say the negative effect of Juliet, the female lead's decisions for fake death in the stories. There's particular effects in my mind. 
and the negative effect is that people that really love her will be living with Sarah because she seemed to be a diamond to them and three people die including Cord Paris, Romeo and Juliet herself because they believe she was dead and especially both families have lost their only sons and daughter mm, the other one is about that does not happen in the story but flies through my ego is that I thought both family would be in a big fight until die XI or we can say only one that stay alive Based on your opinion, do you think that the story of Romeo and Juliet is a meaningful story that everyone should watch? Why or why not? This story has taught me how to act and think to find happiness in my life send conflict and hatred harm our life to forgive and forget is the main perspective people should have thank you all our expert for sharing us your idea and joining us today and also thank you very much for our viewer for watching from the start to the end thank you very much and it's time to say goodbye